Hey guys, welcome once again to the Guy Blog Podcast. As always, your host, Orlando. How are you guys doing? So, we're normally talking MMA with the McGregor Mayweather fight. We're talking boxing, um, Bellator, UFC, wrestling, WWE is always a big deal. Um, however, just fair warning, this episode will have none of that. I'm going to be talking about a Netflix original TV show called Ozark. Um, so, fair warning, if you guys don't want to hear about TV, you're just here for the MMA and wrestling, feel free to skip this episode. However, I've told you guys before, I'm big on TV. If you follow the website, theguyblog.com, or following me on any social network, you know I'm very big into movies, TV, comics, all that good stuff. And... While I mainly focus on wrestling and MMA, I want to do more content for you guys. And, yeah, just that I like to talk. So, I just watched the first episode of Ozark and was about to watch the second. But I just, when the episode ended, and I saw that it was directed by Jason Bateman, who's also the the star character, the main character on the show. I was just like, whoa, he directed this? Like, that was really, really amazingly good. So, I couldn't stop myself from wanting to do this episode. And I was, you know, do I, don't I? It's wrestling and MMA. But, you know what? Do I? I did. I am. I'm going to. So, let's talk Ozark. First of all, this show was suggested to me. I've seen it on Netflix. um, And I keep skipping over it. I saw a little bit of the trailer once. And then um, a friend of mine, co-worker, called Manny, suggested it, said it's really, really good. Um, I should watch it. And that was like a week ago. So today, this morning, I decided to watch the first episode. And wow. I mean, wow. I, I was I caught myself after watching it also thinking um, Jason Bateman does a lot of um, kind of like sar- sarcastic comedy Um, and a lot of sarcastic characters, and I just thought, wow, I mean, if you, sometimes when you want to do the best dramas, um, and it's not just drama, this show is not just drama, but when you want to do, um, get somebody to really play a dramatic character really well, sometimes, you know, you go with these classic actors that are amazing at it. But sometimes all you need is to get a comic to do it because, well, it's kind of like, I, and I find it funny, but it's get somebody funny to play, a comedian um, or somebody that's good with comedy to play something more serious, especially serious and hurt and, or damaged. And I'm like, oh, they're already there. They can get into that headspace without a problem. And... I don't know Jason Bateman, I imagine he's very happy with his life, Um, but he's great at comedies, but people that are great at comedy just have a way of pulling emotion from the other side of the spectrum really well, and Jason Bateman does such a great job at kind of keeping his timing, keeping what has made him successful on, on the funny side of things, and pulling more. For what is the less funny, going to the dramatic, but still keeping that dryness about it, that kind of really deadpan um, delivery, but in a realistic manner, and making it like a true character that's not trying to be funny, that's just alive. Ozark is really good at that. If you guys, um, I'm going to read what Netflix says. So it says... Ozark, a financial advisor, drags his family from Chicago to the Missouri Ozarks, where he must launder $500 million in five years to appease a drug boss. That is the gist of the show, but in that first episode, you see how he gets there. It's not just, you know, he's not a shady financial advisor. He's not this creepy guy or this guy that's just trying, you know, living the high life um, and... How he ends up there, the family dynamic, the personal issues. It's I'm I'm going spoiler free, but it's really really good. And 
I was surprised that the Bateman actually directed it. Sometimes when people have to direct themselves, it, it becomes an issue because, you know, you can't be in front and behind the camera at the same time. But he does a great, like an amazing job at it. The acting is superb. He's with Laura Linney. They play off each other well. It, they have kind of an awkward, like you can't get around to feeling what's wrong with the relationship. Um, I actually like was like, oh, I hope when married with kids and whatever, I'm not this bored. But it, it, it kind of makes it feel real. But then you also see the undertones and you, you learn what is really going on. And, and it's hard to explain without giving it away. So I don't want to. But I do want you guys to watch it. Watch at least... This is one of those shows... Game of Thrones, for example, is a show where I tell everybody, watch the first season and you're going to get a feel for what the show really is. And you have to watch the first season. Not just a couple of episodes, the entire season to really understand how they play that show and how it works and why it's so good. Ozark is one of those shows where I'm very confident in saying, just watch the first episode. If you don't like the first episode, then maybe the show's not for you. But that first episode will let you know if this is your type of show. It's a very high quality, very well directed, very well acted, superb all around, writing, everything. It's that type of show. I mean, I even saw some shots and, and the setup and how it looks. And I was like, it's not something unique. I was just like, wow, that was really good of... <laughs> positioning of the camera to catch all of that to catch just that view and it's something very simple um it was when the jason bateman character was, was meeting with somebody and i'm not going to say who um in an open area and i'm not going to say who because i don't want to give anything away but in you know in this office building type of open area but it and i was like wow they could have just stayed close in when when they're more zoomed out I really like how, how it looks and how it was shot. And to find those little things and be able to appreciate them, a lot of shows and even movies, they don't give you those moments. They don't give you something to appreciate beyond the story or something to appreciate beyond the acting. Um, a show like this where I'm like appreciating the acting, appreciating the directing, appreciating the photography, the, the shoots, the, where the camera is placed. How actors, are, like, everything feels really, really good and, you know, should be nominated for more than a few awards for if I'm going off of the first episode. But I'm not going to, you know, jump the shark and I'll probably come back and do another review um, after I watch more of it or the entire season. But it's, I'm surprised. I mean, let's, make, let's put it this way. Since I relaunched the podcast, I've been focused on wrestling and MMA Despite my love for movies, despite my love for TV, um, I watch a lot of it. This is the first show that I just felt so excited um, about how good it is that I wanted to share it with you because, you know, I like watching quality TV and I feel like this is a show that might, you know, run underneath and not a lot of people might get to watch it. And I want as many people as possible to watch this show so that it has a second and third and fourth season. But more than that, to appreciate how good it is, and hopefully it gets nominated for a lot of stuff, but it's it's just, that first episode was really good, and usually I don't go this all in on the first episode of, of any series, but Ozark surprised me, and I think it's like a sleeper type of show right now. So, as always, Orlando, check it out, let me know what you think, at the guy blog on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere, the theguyblog.com, and Orlando at theguyblog.com is the email. Guys, hit me up. Let me know what you think. Check out the first episode. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you like this this show, this basically this episode of the podcast, talking about TV, probably I might do a few more. Um, we'll see how good it goes. But yeah, let, watch it. Let me know what you think. I'll keep watching. I'll keep you guys updated. As always, Orlando for the Guy Blog. Take care. Talk to you soon.